picture taken yesterday in southern Vermont is of some relatively rare, and in my opinion, beautiful clouds. I wanted to take a brief moment to share why we call these clouds alto cumulus clouds and how they form. I will explain exactly how these clouds developed and how thunderstorms over a thousand miles away gave us this beautiful sky. We name our clouds based on two main criteria. The first is the level of atmosphere where the clouds are located. The second is the appearance of clouds. In the case of alto cumulus clouds, the alto part of the name indicates that these are mid-level clouds, meaning they are located between two and 6,000 meters above the ground. The cumulus part of the name indicates that these clouds, these are clouds that are cotton ball in appearance and convective in nature. That means they happen when moist air is rising in the atmosphere. When we think of cumulus clouds, we normally think of the cotton ball clouds that appear in the afternoons of fair weather days, or sometimes in the early part of the day, which then grow to be cumulonimbus clouds, which produce thunderstorms. Alto cumulus clouds are much more rare than run-of-the-mill cumulus clouds because they are higher in the atmosphere than normal cumulus clouds. They indicate that the atmosphere is stable in the lower levels, but that there is a, label of, a level of instability in the mid-levels. Even more rare would be cirrocumulus clouds, which occur at high elevations above 6,000 meters. These occur when the atmosphere is stable through the low and mid-levels, but instable in the high levels. And it's more regular for the atmosphere to be stable at lower levels than at higher levels. In our case, the clouds have arranged themselves in rows. That happens because of an upward and, of upward and downward movement of air in the atmosphere. That probably sounds a little confusing, but it is much easier to grasp if you remember that a gas is a fluid, just like liquid is a fluid. Think of the upward and downward motion of the air as a wave on the ocean. In this case, the stable layer of air acts as the base of the wave, because a stable layer inhibits upward motion in the atmosphere. It creates a real boundary, somewhat like the boundary between the ocean water and the air above it. Where you see a row of clouds is the top of the waves. Where there is a row of clear sky be between is the trough of the wave. In the case of these particular alto cumulus clouds, they are left over from the convection that happened over North and South Dakota about a day before they made their way to New England. These clouds were in the process of dissipating, but the last of the leftover convective layer could still be seen. In fact, when I went outside about 45 minutes later, skies had the skies had cleared. As I observe interesting weather phenomena in Southern Vermont, I will be adding to the Weather Guy Explains videos in the future on my YouTube channel. If you, have, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the bell at the bottom of the screen to get updates on when I post new videos. You can also follow me on Facebook and visit my website to get my latest forecasts. Videos like this are made possible in part by my patrons who help me to improve my equipment and support my work. If you'd like to become a patron, click on the link below.